I've been looking forward to this. This absolutely stupid wheel that I have prepared. Here it is. Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow, Patapon, Saucepans, and the free people of YouTube. Hey. Hi. Look at this monster of a wheel. So, okay, Klonoa is done. We're going to be with our two games waiting in line. Uh, as when I start the next one, so we're gonna summon forth the new one, and there's gonna be a poll on Patreon. I just want to take a moment to show off this ridiculous, stupid wheel I've done. So, because I know uh, there was some time on Petapon Zone where I was, there I was spending a lot of time wondering, tinkering about the system, trying to make it better. And I felt all I did was making it more complicated and more complicated, but like having things be wild and stupider is good, right? So I just smashed every idea I had on this wheel and then labeled things. Some of them are complicated. So just to kind of do an overview, my mouse does not appear on the recording window. So I'm going to have to use words. Uh, the larger, like, slice, like, 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 basically the whole, like, half that's, like, a ton of tiny and three whammies, those are all new games that have never appeared at all in the wheel. Um, in the bigger wedges, there's one that's called Dungeon Time. Every, every game that has appeared on the wheel and, uh, got less than third place are all condensed into Dungeon Time. This is so that we facilitate the appearance of new stuff. Um, at the bottom, you got all the games with advantages. You can tell by the difference. Some of them are 10 points. Some of them are 5 points. The tiny... Okay, and all like the other like large wedges, those are like special wedges. Either they will make... They, most of them involve me making a choice, a different theme choice. Some of them are about all the Sonic games. Some are about the other all the games that have been sitting in in like you know in 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 the dust for years and getting to play. And there's another other like different little options or wheels to spin. And between the two sets of larger wedges, those are all the uh, all of the games that I had added. So there, so we're talking about the rest of the Sonic mainline games, a ton of Zelda games. <laughs> A lot of Castlevania games and a handful of Star Wars games and also a handful of Ease games. That's right. Those were all the future projected all those that I will never do because I am now in the hate with the format. Uh, not all the Zelda games I want to play are there as well as not all the time because they're still dependencies. Like, you know, like how... Uh, I wouldn't play Spiral 3 until I played Spiral 1 and then Spiral 2. Well, there are cases like that. Like, to give a quick example, Sonic Generation isn't there because I need to play one of the Sonic Colors first. That makes sense, I think, to me. I've been waiting to shuffle that board and get all the various sizes of stuff everywhere. And it is done. Oh, this looks jank. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we're spinning five ways and something is going to happen today. I'm going to put all the things that I get, put them on a list and people are going to vote. Oh man, here we go. Going somewhere. Here we go. Indeed. Silent Hill on the PS1. <laughs> that one... So that game was involved in the Lotus poll, which was like all uh, Genesis games. Genesis game, PlayStation games. And you know, I just got done playing the the game from their poll too. It's kind of funny. Silent Hill horror game on the PlayStation. I don't I don't think I need to do any special things about it. It's a horror game. If you want to see me play a spooky game, I don't know how that's going to go, seeing me watch, like, a spooky game for real that is trying to be... I don't know how the experience is going to be. To repeat myself a little bit, I have a little bit of experience where in college a friend made me play it. And I, I had, like, one session where I got to the school. I remember nothing. All I remember is, is his disappointment at how not afraid I was. So put that in, put, put that in mind. Put that in context. Put that in a Chevy and drive into a yard. 
All that sounds like a lot of fun. I don't think I need to put a trailer along. Well, there won't be a trailer. It's too old. But I'll put like a long play or something. In the poll itself. So you can take a look for yourself. Hey, here we go. Will is spinning and I'm full of yogurt. That's not true. I haven't eaten that in years. Probably wouldn't be able to take it. Uh, of course, that's like the first special wedge we get. So whenever I need to make a choice, I will always do that at the end. Like I want to do all my spins first because like when I have to make a choice, uh, you know, I, I, it needs to be informed. Like I kind of want a bit of context. Death or a game that where I would rather pl play than die, which of course... Of course, a game that would rather die than play. I said backwards, I ruined a bit. Kusoge, I'm going to pick out a bad game, quote unquote, and where I'm going to put it there. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to decide until we do the whole rolls and I'm going to decide then uh, before I do. Pretty simple enough, isn't it? This has just been... Of course, though. So, funny story. When I build the wheel, uh, I, put, I made a lot of the new widgets. Some of them I had no idea what they would do. I just thought, well, if there's a bankrupt, there needs to be a death, right? That's just logic. Super Sammy roll. I have no idea what that is. What am I looking at? One year ago. So, it's a pretty new game. Uh, official on yeah, launch render PlayStation. Sure. Boop. Let's take a look. Oh, this is loud. Okay, that is a cute little guy. He's got a cute little tongue thing going. He's a bit of a su- What? What is this? I don't know what this is, but it looks really rad. Roll across colorful lands. Uh, okay, so it's a, like, pre-platformer, but like, momentum based maybe? You got a map from an old game. Then you got little cartoon thingies. That's a snippet, pretty much. Tongue grapple your way. Oh, this looks really rad. Okay. It's just like a momentum grappling platform game. Oh, this looks cool. This looks awesome. That, that is a vine plant design. Do it in style. You can have a ducky. And you have a little background for a hot second. New modes, finally. You know what I vibe? I am getting like huge, um, what's the, uh, Tori vibe, don't I? Well, why did I say don't I? You don't know. But I'm getting huge Tori vibe, except, you know, with the, uh, without the, um, well, another kind of retro aesthetic. Instead of being like retro PlayStation, it's like retro GameCube or something. And then someone's head explodes when I said retro GameCube. Well, welcome to 2023, friend. That looks super rad. Okay, now I understand why I added it to the wheel at some point in time. That looks super cool. Alright, I'm gonna... Done. Oh, I was supposed to hide choice. Well, you know what? I'll have a bad time finding it in the bucket list. Buried somewhere. Well, I mean, if I get it again, I'm just gonna... Eat paste. No, I should not do that. Having glue inside your stomach is a terrible idea. And okay, it's a two boxes one. All right, so our three whammies. I call them whammies because they make me do work. So I'm gonna roll two uh, mystery boxes, combine them, and then I'm gonna try and find a game that fits uh, on the spot. So two boxes. All right, it's a two box whammy. Got it. Two box whammy. I'll understand what I mean. Yeah, I put it as a whammy because this is kind of a lot of weird amount of work I kind of need to do on the spot sometimes. Uh, the wheels can be like incredibly um, hard to predict. But here we are, we're gonna spin the fifth thing. It's just we don't know all the things it's hard to say. And already, we got a game that would be in all the Zelda. Freshly picked Tingle Rosie's Rupee. I don't know if that works well emulated, actually. I should probably look that up. What is it even for? It is a adventure game for the Nintendo DS. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, anyone wants to get their tingle on? Now is the time. Adventure game. Like, I kind of, I don't want to look at the long play because I don't want to know what a game's about. All I know is the game is super weird and super weird and pretty funny. But because, of, like, I don't want to know anything. So I will put a thing in a thing. Wow, wow, cow. Good job. You did it. You used words. I tried to look just for a hot second there if there were, like, compatibility issues with that game. I couldn't find any. So I'm, I'm guessing everything is super good and we don't have to worry about anything. It's all good. What a s weird thing we got here. Oh, wait, no, I need to look. I can't just do that. I need to, like, actually... Uh, da, 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 da. Here's a preview of everything that is there. Da, 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 da. It's okay if you can see it because anyways... The bucket is publicly available in a Google Doc. Yeah, the address is... Well, it's in the talk house coming up next. First post. Or it's in the Discord uh, for my Patreon, the Spot Zone. All right. Um, right. I'm going to do the two-box whammy now. All right. So I'm going to save here. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. Place. Honestly, this is going... Okay. It's going a bit speeder than I thought it would, but I don't know if that's true. All right, now we want the powerful wizard cast a spell. We're gonna get two of these. Okay, that's fine. And I, I don't really need to shuffle those. They're all like equidistant. But yeah, I'm gonna get two and I'm gonna see what I can do about combining two. Combining things is fun, conceptually. Although it can be a bit of work for me. And a game featured during SZDQ 2020. All right, let's open up the game list. Okay, so here I have the entire game list. So we will be able to look in there. Uh, done, let's do it again. So, all right. Being quiet while I make sure I have everything I need while I talk kind of slow. To the beat of this theme. This is a little bit too long. Sideways view game. A side scroller, if you're not saying that like an idiot. Alright, well. Side soul side souls games. Uh, let's take Raven Legend I've already played. Shovel Knight, King of Car I've already played. I don't think D Dusk is a I don't know what that is. Um and I already clicked out, right? So side scrolling, uh, yeah, it wouldn't. It would be it would, ooh. Uh, Rabbi Ravi already played. There's a wizard, Kidicurus. So the two would count technically. It's kind of funny. There, yeah, there's a lot of games in here that would count. I'm just looking to see if there's any games I specifically remember from um, my list of uh, games with advantages. So we already have an advantage game on, on the list, but still. I've always wanted to play this. Demon's Crest? I don't even... This game. This game keeps returning. Do I, I, I... By the laws I have established, I have to put this up. It is a game. It is in here somewhere. All right. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. You have been in many votes, and you just never quite make it. Is this going to be your thing? It's a Castlevania-like that uses retro graphic, and you got, like, multiple characters, and it looks super rad. The bosses are huge sprite. It's super cool. If you've watched any of these wheel videos, you know what it is. It keeps showing up. Ah! Uh, will it finally win? Is this the day of Bloodstained Curse of the Moon? Is it? And that's the Kuse. That's the Kuse I decided on. I kind of decided on about halfway through, but I feel like it fits a lot of the mood. Kind of... 
retro-y, silly. You see, see, you got the retro, you got the fine little animal, you know, character. You got annoying voices. It fits. It kind of fits. People are afraid of cats. So there you go. <laughs> That's going to be the poll this time. Vote between Silent Hill, Bubsy the Bobcat, which I played like the first world or something back in Not Sonic. I, I, I want to play it for real, so. Super Sammy Roll, Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon, and freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. This will be used on the Rank It site. Remember, you know, how it works. You slide in all the option in the order that you prefer the games. You will set it out. You will basically put put them up and put them down, and you know, and then and then it's going to be a runoff system. It will last a week, and uh, that's about it. It's pretty simple, I think. Video games are trying very hard to purse into our reality, and it is our duty as people on the internet to stop that from happening. I believe in you. Thank you.